Philippine Air Force's F-A-50 fighter jet with two pilots on board went missing during an operation that was acquired from South Korea. India is developing an innovative plasma stealth device, a cutting-edge system designed to reduce the radar cross-section of military assets. The RDO's K-5 submarine-launched ballistic missile will carry four MIRF warheads up to a range of 6,000 km. Belgium-based John Cock Aerial Defence has signed a joint venture agreement with Pune-based Electroneumatics and Hydraulics, to locally assemble turrets for 700 Zorawa light tanks in India. The Ministry of Defence has awarded a 239 crore rupees contract to Solar Industries for the supply of multi-mode hand grenades to the Indian Army. Bharat Electronics delivered the 49th Swati weapon locating radar to the Indian Army ahead of delivery schedule. Hyderabad-based VEM Technologies has unveiled the 250 km range Weed Worms guided rocket, and it is optimistic about securing clearance from the Indian Army to advance further development of the system. VEM Technologies is developing a loitering munition named Chaser, that has a range of 1,000 km. Russia has offered to provide the IL-78M90 aerial refueling tanker to India, along with potential technology transfer and local production. The Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited have embarked on an ambitious initiative to integrate the Tejas Mark II fighter jet with the Cats Warrior Loyal Wingman. The Aeronautical Development Agency have decided to use the Tejas Mark II as a testbed to develop and validate these advanced technologies, as the Tejas Mark II offers a perfect blend of advanced avionics open architecture and robust performance. In a setback in the India-US 530 striker deal, new reports have emerged of striker vehicles' poor performance during high-altitude trials in Ladakh. Sources have described the striker's performance as a disaster, noting that it not only struggled to maneuver in flat areas, but also failed to surmount a modest 20-meter hill. The thin air at high altitudes, coupled with the engine's limited 300 horsepower output led to persistent overheating issues. General Dynamics has proposed an upgrade to a 600 horsepower engine, with plans to conduct initial tests in the US, before returning the modified striker for retrials in India. The Indian Navy has expressed interest in the DRDO's very short range air defense system, that will provide an additional layer of defense, and will address the need for a quick reaction capability to neutralize smaller and faster moving targets that might penetrate outer defensive layers. It will complement existing missile systems like the VLSR SAM, that serves as the primary point defense interceptor against sea skimming missiles. The Indian Navy is planning to equip its three additional Super Calvary class submarines with submarine launched missiles, that will give it the ability to launch strikes from distances, which is not possible with the existing fleet of six Calvary submarines. The three Super Calvary will also be integrated with unmanned underwater vehicles, that will allow for coordinated attacks, extended surveillance, and mine laying and clearing operations. Today's top three comments. Oh, Mark, drop it.